Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am the Grand Cat and today we are looking at the premium or the premier uh, Messiah Stride decklist. Now you see there it says Carfreight Vanguard. On the side it does indeed say Brantgate Vanguard. The back of it doesn't really have anything special, it does have the Vanguard logo in the bottom right there. And the other side has the Link Joker symbol on it and this one of course on the front has both Brandgate and Link Joker. So, of course, this is usable in the brand new overdress format, but um, it of course comes from the original G era. So this does have strides in the same manner that the Gear Chronicle one did. I've forgotten the price of it, <laughs> I'll be honest. Uh, I pre-ordered this quite some time ago uh, to make sure that it would arrive nice and safely and I wouldn't have to pay an extortionate price after it came out to try and get hold of the thing. So I think I was amongst the first people to pre-order the thing. So let's take a look and see what it is that we get inside of it. So there are two versions of this. This is the more expensive version. This is the, the super fancy expensive version. And oh my goodness, we have you know, quite a few things in here. So we have immediately a brand new deck box. This one looks like it is more. The last one was your standard see through plasticky one. This is a much more premium version of the deck box, so that immediately stands out to me. We have our little shield things once again, our little tokens. Uh, well, this is the tokens, sorry. Uh, this are, these are essentially card sleeves for all intents and purposes. These are tokens, we'll be looking at them a little bit later. You get the deck itself, which should come in all the higher priority. And of course, we get the playmat. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull out the playmat, and then we're going to use that to take a look at everything else which comes in this set. Now we're not going to go over every single card, if you want to see the card list, uh, there's plenty of places online that you can see what the cards are and what the cards do. It has ball wrap on the inside of it and to be all nice and protected for your premium premium premier deck. And there we are, there is the beautiful Alter Ego Messiah. Playmat. It doesn't entirely all fit in screen. It says a little Carfreight Vanguard there on that side, and you've got the little Vanguard logo on the other. So that is everything. Glad we got that all sorted. Hmm, it looks like there is. Yeah, there, there was a tiny dead spider <laughs> that came with that there. Oh, very rude. Um, thank you, Bishiro. Bishiro for uh, sending that along with the rest of them, the rest of the things. Um, so let's see, we have the deck itself, we have the sleeves. So this doesn't come, the, the previous one, the Chrono Jet one, came with a card stand, this one doesn't. Instead what you've got is your Super Premier deck box, which we will take a look at. And once again, this one, like the last one, comes with these little sleeves. Now we also have an inlet here which we're just going to discard because we do not need them and of course that comes and gives you your brand new storage box which is very very nice. Um, this one doesn't seem as particularly well made as the Chrono Jet one is. The Chrono Jet one felt sturdier than this. Um, so that's a that's a little bit strange, but okay, it is what it is. So uh, let's take a look at the deck box first, because that will be the faster one to look at. So it's all cell taped down, so nice and protected. Hopefully there won't be any spiders in this one. Let's cut this open. And this here is one very cool looking deck box. 
Um, it has a feel to it. It's got a kind of... Oh, it's magnetised as well. It's very nice to see. It's a very, very cool looking deck box. You can actually see the, the magnet on it. And it's all felt on the inside. You can hear it. A little close over. It takes a little bit of a grip. I think the magnet is in this part here, which magnetises the inside of the box. Although it's completely transparent, you can't see it at all. And it looks really cool. It says Carfreight Vanguard, Link Joker, Brandgate. There's the Vanguard logo on the bottom of it. So very, very cool. Uh, let's take a look at the artwork. There it is. And it's full art, which I believe is Old Trigo Messiah. I don't think it's one of the strides. I'm fairly sure that that is Messiah himself. Um, of course, Messiah has a brand new artwork, which we'll take a look at as well. Next up, we're going to look at these little card sleeves um, from the Chronojet ones. The carpet ones, uh, the Gear Chronicle ones, oh my goodness, that I had. I wasn't exactly sure what to do with them, so I um, haven't really done anything with them. <laughs> so, here we are, you get five of them, and if you look at the back, well, this is the front of them, okay. So you have your Neon Messiah, which is the starting vanguard, your Sleep Messiah, your Waking Messiah, all the way up to Alter Ego Messiah. So that is basically your raid line, right there. And of course you have the Link Joker Crest symbol as well. Each of these are transparent. So I think the idea is that you're supposed to put the raid line in here, in the front of it, and then maybe keep this as your raid line? Possibly? I don't know. Would these even fit in here? I, I guess those would. Hmm. I suppose if you want top loaders on your ride line, that is maybe what they were thinking of. Uh, I've actually got this the wrong way around. I'll keep it. Well, now I'm just confused. No, I, I turned the Neon Messiah one the wrong way around. There we go. Okay. Now everything's correct. Right, well, let's see. This is the, the meat of the product. This is, of course, the deck itself. This is the reason for paying the extravagant amount of money for this. And everything in this version comes in highest rarity. And the standard version, you only get one uh, triple rare of each. So there we have our four triple rare Alter Ego Messiahs. Uh, there we have the raid line. So there is your Neon Messiah, your uh, Sleep Messiah, Awakening Messiah, and of course, Alter Ego Messiah itself. Uh, we have the Astro Blade Dragons. We've got three of those in the main deck, but I think you do get additional ones at the back. This is what they intend for you to play. You've got your four Kuzilar Kleins, your four Arrestor Messiahs, your four Perfect Guards, all in the nice Ultra Rare Foil, or Triple Rare Foil, uh, Flowers in Vacuum, Cosmo Wrath. Yeah, Wreath, I suppose. Uh, oh, you've got your four Destiny Dealers. I remember this. This is the Stride Enabler for the original series. Your four Sacrifice Messiahs. And then your Kitty Cat, the Hair Big Claw, which, if you've looked up any of the decks that have topped in one, this is probably the card that comes out of the deck and gets replaced by... Oh my goodness, I've forgotten its name. It is the Grade 1 Triple Rare that is meant to be used in Chaos, and I have forgotten its name. Uh, Makani. Um, go ahead, Makani. So, this is... If you've got a Vanguard with Messiah, its name gets plus 5,000 defense. And when your other unit is unlocked, you may put this into your soul. What a Go Ahead Makani does is, on place, soul charge 1. So, already it does bit more than this. And Makani, you can put it into souls, choose up to one grade 3 Makani from your soul, and call it to your guard circle. Of course, you aren't going to play the grade 3 Makani. You're only playing it to Soul Charge 2, as opposed to Soul Charge 1, and also it does it on place and not when you unlock, so that is why. Go ahead, Makani is a little bit better than this, but this does have the plus 5 defense. There's your common Brant Gate Over Trigger, which is atrocious, but this is the only way to get the common Brant Gate Over Trigger, um, is through this, so if you want it, that's how to get it. You have your four Star Arrestor Dragon, Star Aggression Dragon, sorry, uh, Critical Triggers. You have three generic draw triggers, four generic front triggers, and four generic heal triggers. Of course you don't get any of the effect ones, you only get the commons, the basics in those. And of course in the premium version 
We do have four of the Excelix Messiah in the SGR variant, and we have four of the Amnesty Messiah in the same rarity. In the regular version, you get one of this in this rarity and three of it in triple rare, and it's the same for this as well. And we also have two versions of the crest. This is your regular version of the crest that you get, and this is the one that only comes with the premium version, which you can see is significantly more shiny. Uh, let's just compare the two next to each other. So it gives you both of them, so that if you prefer the non-shiny one, you can have that instead. But this is this is this is a special. This is <clears throat> unique to this set. And over here you have the rest of your cards. You have your one additional um, Astro Blade Dragon and your three additional Awakening Messiahs. Um, because this does have a, uh, well it has the soul effect, I believe, um, and also when it's unlocked um, you get the additional effect as well. So you only get one of this in the ride line of course, they've given you an additional three, so you don't need to go out and buy the, the three copies. Um, with the Chronojet one, you only got one of the grade one, which is something that a lot of the premium players went out of the way to try and find four of us because that's what activates the crest. It again only gives you one of the grade one and I think that's them trying to persuade you to use this in overdress format where you've got a ride line rather than using it in premium where you're allowed to have access to everything. So there we go folks, that is the entire deck. We of course have these. You've got your triggers, your, your little tokens. So the way that these work is these are stickers. You just take these off, put them on one of the side of the coin, flip the coin over, put another sticker on the other side, and then that acts as two tokens. Uh, I tend to split things up. So don't put two of the plus one criticals onto one because then you won't be able to use more than one of them. Instead, you want to split these things up, you know, so you've got like boost and plus crit or, you know, the plus boost and, or the plus intercept, sorry, and maybe drive check and things. And what I've done, what I do on the other side is I put the 13k and the 1k um, across from each other because either your Vanguard is going to be 1k, or it's only going to be 1, not 1k, sorry, it's only going to be 1 if you're playing against Radjold, or you're going to be in 13. It's never going to be both. And what I tend to do is I put the plus 5 on one side and the plus 15 on one side on the other. So if something gets plus 5, then you've got that, and if you get a trigger, you just flip it over to the 15. And we just put the 10 and the 20 on the opposite side of one another as well, because same manner, you know, if something gets plus 10 off of one trigger, and if you put a second trigger on it, just flip it over, and then 20k. That's what I tend to do with my stickers. Uh, of course, you can do the stickers whatever way you want. Um, obviously, like, if you put two 100 millions on the same coin, then obviously you'll always be able to find where your 100 million is. But if you want to give 100 million to two things, if you're using the over trigger, that gives 100 million to two things then make sure that these are on different stickers, otherwise you won't be able to put two coins, two of your little marker coins, on two different units. So, that is my advice. That is everything that comes in this little deck. Um, just for the sake of completionist, let's lay out the deck for everyone, shall we? So, we're going to put the ride line up here at the start. So there's your 0, 1, 2, 3. <laughs> This is, this is almost turning into uh, a deck list video, and it's not. But, I mean, it almost is, as well. You, of course, have your three Persona Rides. So, we'll put Persona Rides up here. You've got your Astro Blade Dragons. Your Kozar Clines, your Grade Twos. Put those down here. Your Rester Messiahs. Now the PGs that we're going to keep aside for just now, we're going to put those next to the triggers. Your four Destiny Demons. Your four Sacrifice Messiahs. And if you want to play the meta version, you're probably going to swap these out for Go Ahead Mechanics. So. Those are just going to sit over there for the time being. And then, of course, you're playing your four PGs. Your over trigger, of course. Your at least four crits. 
Um, in this deck, I'm probably going to play 8 crit. And I'm probably going to play 3 draw. Probably not going to play the fronts. So these four fronts here are actually going to become critical triggers. So we're just going to put those backwards as a placeholder and pretend that those are criticals. And I'm also going to put in the effect crits and the effect draws. Because the effect draws, of course, give plus five uh, if your opponent's vanguard is on grade three. So there's no reason not to have a 10k trigger as opposed to a 5k trigger, uh, a 5k guard in hand. And also we're going to put the effect critical triggers in here because soul is absolutely important in this deck because you will be using a lot of it. Of course, you have your four heal triggers, which you, there, I can't think of a singular deck that you wouldn't play four heal triggers in. And lastly, we have the G deck, your stride deck, which is, of course, your four Amnesty and your four Excelix, because in Overdress you're not allowed to play anything other than those guys, and we've kind of run out of space, so you're just going to have to remember that those exist. And, of course, we're going to be playing our one credit card to allow you to actually play the deck. <laughs> it's not called the credit card, of course. It is called the Crest. <laughs> he said having to read it to remember what it was called, because jokingly in the community it's called the credit card. But there you go, that is the deck. Um, I probably wouldn't play additional ones of these. Um, probably just one in each of the ride line is probably good enough. Also remember, same as Chronojet, if you have them, you are allowed to use other versions of the Alter Ego Messiah. So if you have the original Alter Ego Messiahs from the original G series, you are allowed to play those in place of these and just use them as alternate arts. So I might do that. I might go and find my, my old SP Alter Ego Messiah, maybe throw that into the deck. We'll see what happens. But that is going to be it for this little video, folks. I really hope you all enjoyed. If you did enjoy it, please give me a like, share, and subscribe. And if you are subscribed, make sure you click that notification icon so you can see when more of these little videos go out. And we will see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.